Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to see that how can we change the color of the sheets uh, that are present with us in Microsoft Excel using the Visual Basic code. Now when we are talking about changing the color of the sheets, what we are going to change is actually the tab color of the sheets. Now if you can just see over here, right now it's a uh, white in color and if you just right click over here you will get this option that is tab color so if you just select any of the color from here suppose i select this green okay then what happens is you can see that now if uh, this sheet is referenced then it is referenced in green color so that's how you can change the tab color of the sheets in microsoft excel simply uh, using the excel but since we are learning about VB, so we would be seeing how to do the same using the Visual Basic code. But first of all, the thing that we must understand over here is what is actually the usage of changing the tab color of the sheets. Suppose you have a workbook that contains multiple sheets. Some of the sheets relate to the HR department. Some of the sheets relate to the finance department. Some of the sheets related to the manufacturing department and so on and all the sheets are present in the same workbook then you need to classify them that which sheets are related to the HR department which are to which department and so on so in that particular case uh, this color thing works very well you can color code a particular sheet that simply suppose for HR department you can give a color code as green for the finance department you can give a color code as blue and so on so that is the usage of coloring the sheets uh, using the tab color feature and that's why microsoft has given us this feature so let us see that how can we use this feature using the macros in visual basic so let us just open our vba editor i have already opened it from the previous video itself if you need to open it you can simply use the shortcut alt f11 and you will get this screen in front of you so go to the insert menu once you have opened it go to the module to create a new module now in this module what you need to do is provide the name of the sheet but it could be anything that you provide so it doesn't really matter that what you uh, type over here but you need to make one thing sure that this name must be something that you should understand so that afterwards if you see your code you are able to understand that what this particular module does okay now if you just press enter so color sheets is what i have given this uh, as a name because we are going to actually color the sheets okay so once you have opened your color sheets option in the VBA, what you are going to do is create a sub procedure. And in this sub procedure, uh, you need to provide a name, which is going to be actually the name of our macro. So usually I just provide the same name as the name of our module, which is color sheets, open and close the parenthesis and press enter. Okay. So uh, first of all, what do we need to do is actually change the color of the sheets. So for that, first of all, we need to reference that particular sheet whose color we need to change. Okay, we know to refer the sheets, we have got a worksheets function and using the worksheets function, there are two ways through which we can refer a sheet. You can simply type worksheets within parenthesis, uh, you can either provide the sheet name or the sheet position. First of all, let us see with the help of a sheet name. Suppose I have sheet name as uh, sheet one and this is the name the sheet whose color I want to change okay so just close the double quotes and close the parenthesis now what property we need to access is the tab property since the uh, option that we had in Microsoft Excel was the tab color so first property we need to access over here is known as the tab property you can just put a dot and uh, you can just get uh, the tab option or if you do not get the option you can simply type tab then again you put a dot in the tab property what what property we need to uh, access is the color property so you need to simply provide it as c o l o r color and then you can put an equal sign now we have used uh, this color property with our cells before in our previous videos so we know that when we are using this colors what value we need to provide we can provide eight basic values that is the eight basic colors which 
विजुअल बेसिक गिव्स अस विच आर ब्लैक रेड ब्लू सियान मजेंटा येलो ग्रीन एंड सो ऑन ओके सो इफ यू नीड टू एक्सेस और प्रोवाइडेड विद अ पर्टिकुलर कलर देन यू नीड टू राइट द नेम द कलर प्रीफिक्स विद अ वी बी सो आई वॉन्ट टू कलर इट इन मैजेंटा सो वी बी मैजेंटा इज वॉट आई राइट like this okay and this is what we are going to do so just run it yes color sheets is what i'm going to run so just select it and you can see that sheet 1 is now colored in magenta if you just go to any other sheet and you will see that sheet 1 is now colored in magenta sheet 2 is colored in green color uh, and sheet 1 is colored in magenta which we wanted now the other method is there are actually um, four methods basically the other method is or the four uh, ways which you can change the color of the sheets use the worksheets function and instead of the name you need to provide the index so for providing the index let us right click over here custom sheet is whose color i want to change now and it is present at the index 3 so worksheets and the index you need to provide it as 3 then close the parenthesis put a dot write the property value as tab again put a dot and you need to use this color and using this color you can specify any of the colors which you can use so i'm going to change it to cyan so let us provide it as vb cyan because that is the convention that which will basically follows now vb cyan is what we are going to do let us just clear up this line of code and when we run it you can see custom sheet has been changed to cyan now if we just change our current active sheet to something else you can see that custom sheet is now colored in cyan and that's how you can go with it so that was the second method if we talk about the third method so we already know uh, that we can actually change the color of anything beat the cells or the sheets using two methods one is the color method and the other is the color index method when we are using the color method we need to provide the name the color prefix by the letter vb but when we are using the color index we need to provide the index of the color okay so let us just use this color index property instead of color you need to write color index like this put an equal sign and uh, you need to provide it with a value so the value i'm providing is 20 and instead of 3 uh, i'm just going to change its position at 4 which means the current sheet is custom name or actually custom name sheet is what whose color i want to change with a color index of 20 so if you just click on it then you can see that we have got this light blue color which is actually uh, what we must get when we are using the color index 20 so uh, that's the light blue color with which our sheet named as custom name is changed to now what happens uh, we can use this color index property uh, with uh, instead of the sheet index if we provide the sheet name in the worksheet function so that is the fourth method so within double quotes you need to provide the name of the sheet which is nothing but rename sheet like this and uh, the color index i'm um, this time going to change its value to a uh, 50 okay like this and if you just click on run then you can see it has got a dark green color shade so that's what it is that's what we get on color index 50 so that was the fourth method the first method using the sheet name in the worksheet function and the color property the second method using the sheet index in the worksheet function and the color index property the third method using the sheet index again in the worksheet function but using the color property and the fourth method using the uh, sheet name in the worksheet function and using the color index property so these are the four methods using any one of them you can actually change the name of your sheet uh, sorry the color of your sheet okay now what happens is once you have colored your sheet if you want to change it back to normal uh, if you do not want to provide any of the like color to this particular sheet uh, currently we are having the rename sheet over here so 
uh, right now it's of green color but if you want to remove any color from it okay so what we can do is uh, using the worksheet function you need to reference that particular sheet so right now we are using this name then you can just put a dot and use the tab color property so you need to provide tab then again put a dot and then you need to provide color and equals now in this equal sign instead of providing it with a color what you can provide it with a value known as false when you provide it with false then what will visual basic do is it will just remove any of the colors that is present in that particular sheet okay so now if you just run this code you can see the rename sheet is now colored uh, is now removed its color and it is now a uh, normal like the other sheets okay so if you want to just change the color of any other sheet like i have custom name so let's just take a note at its position it is at the fourth position now simply using the position or the index value also you can just uh, remove the color of a sheet so the index value i've provided it is four and if i just run this piece of code then you can see custom name is now not colored at all so that is all about the color property or the tab color property that you need to know in microsoft excel and that's all for the video thanks for watching